I'd now like you to give a very warm welcome to one of the officers of the Stop the Royal Coalition, but also somebody who's organised convoys of aid into Gaza, organised support for the Palestinian people, and indeed was on the Mavi Marmara when it was attacked. Please welcome Kevin Ovenden. Brothers and sisters, over the course of the last week, the representatives of the 1% of bloodsuckers at the top of this society and of the world have been meeting in the, meeting in the Alpine resort of Davos. And yesterday they held a special meeting to listen to Yehu Barak, the Deputy Prime Minister of Israel, calling upon them to organise sooner rather than later yet more war in the Middle East, to unleash the bombs upon the people of Iran. And on the same day, Britain, France and America at the so-called United Nations pushed for the same thing against the people of Syria. Now let us be clear, we know these people, we know that they have no concern whatsoever for the people of Iran and the people of Syria. Sanctions they bring on the people of Syria, sanctions they bring on the people of Iran, F-16s they give to the House of Saud, money they give to the House of Saud and the Bahrainis and the Yemeni, the Yemeni rulers. This is what these people do. And I say to all of our friends here, who like me are from the region, I say particularly to our Syrian friends, I live part of the year, half of each month, in the city of Beirut. We know, we in the anti-war and peace movement in this country know what France, Britain and the United States do when they get their hands on places like Lebanon and places like Syria. It's bloodshed, it's communitarianism, it's awful killing on all sides and we, as an anti-war movement, speaking I believe for a growing number of people in Britain, will stand with the people of Syria and the people of Iran against the manoeuvres of these powers to rob from you what you took back in dignity against colonialism all those years ago. And this is the beginning of a new phase of the movement. We have to go from here and build this movement and let's be clear, here and in the movement there are different views over many questions. There are some people who are not really of the movement and wish to destroy it, this is a different matter. But those of us who share a solid and clear and principled determination to oppose Cameron, Sarkozy and whoever is in the White House come November will unite together for peace and against war, for unity and against sectarianism which sets one sect against another. We unite from the ordinary people in Britain who are being robbed by the people who seek to rob the whole of the Middle East. This is the message we take from this rally and we ask and we demand of every MP in the British Parliament that they agree simply with what the former Foreign Secretary said, Jack Straw. He said that an attack upon Iran is unthinkable. We demand that we will go to MP surgeries to demand that every single MP also says that an attack upon Iran is unthinkable. And I leave you with this. We face an enormous threat, as Lindsay German said at the beginning. But I firmly believe in unity, in determination, not diverted, we can break Britain from the war machine and truly stand with the people of the Middle East and around the world. Well done, well done Kevin, thank you very much.